Hi. Stop. Stop. Restarting. Nope. Nope. All right. I love her text tone. It's, that's what she said. So you might hear it quite a few times, actually. Okay, so... Can I text on camera? Uh, no. Get off your phone. Okay, I'll turn it <laughs> Sorry, I'll lower the line. All right, so I'm Tracy. And I'm Teresa. <laughs> and we are... Baking and Boozery! <laughs> All right. Not so much baking, a lot more boozery. I have baked. I've done some baking. If our tech guy would get the pictures up on the website, you guys would witness the fact that I have done some baking. We've done some, but it's it's really not a lot. Um, more so, more so just drank. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so... Just... <laughs> I Sorry. thought you were going to turn your phone down. <laughs> Sorry. It's done. It's down. <laughs> okay. All right, so <laughs> okay. we we already have our beers selected. We do. We just we have to go get them. She's but we have them. to do our traditional shot, which she's gonna go get. I'll get the shot. Okay. Um, what are we doing? We have um, we have Kraken. Oh wait, that's not Kraken. That's Kraken. Um, we have Kraken, uh, which is a kick in the face rum. Mm-hmm. We also have Shivas or Shivas Regal, which is a phenomenal scotch. It's my favorite. Um, and Bacardi Oakheart, which is a spiced rum, and it mixes with everything. Mm. So, um, try the Oakheart. You haven't tried that yet. Okay, it's done. I'm coming. Yeah. Alright, so. (laughs) Now my phone had gone off right then and there. That was awesome. I have my, my own personal shot glass. It's a Tullamore shot glass. Alright. I'm going to go through, over the next bunch of episodes, my entire collection of shot glasses, which is a lot, so this is going to take a while. This is a Boston Tea Party shot glass. These things have, like, I've been collecting these things for, like, I don't know, 15, 20 years. All right, go on okay. with it. Pour the shot. Oh, God. Wow. Crikey. You'll like this when it's smooth. No. Oh, and our tech guy is here today, too. He just gets a plain shot glass. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting over there waiting for his shot. Because there's some excitement. I have plans for a really good episode involving rum and cake. Can we make a pineapple upside down cake with rum? The good rum or that rum? The, the good rum. I have some exciting rum coming to me. I'm so the excited. good Okay, rum. ready? Come over here and put your shot glass in the camera, Mr. Tech Guy. No, no, no. Get over here. Come on. There's They've seen guy. your picture. There's your Tech Guy. There he is. There he is. Tech Guy! Yay! Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Mm. Ooh, it's kind of sweet. It is a little sweet. Yeah. It mixes with the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're all so used to cracking, which is a kick in the face, and then we get a more sweet rum, and our tech guy is like, oh. I think he just a I think he did. It, it got a little bit inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we've did our shots, which beer are we doing first? We have a. Uh, almost like a summer wheat beer, mm-hmm. and we also have the, bunny. the chocolate bunny, which I'm not excited for, I but did. she chose it, I so did. you chose both beers, I did. bitch. Okay, so which beer are we doing first? Let's do the wheat beer first. No, mm-hmm. let's do the chocolate bunny beer first. Oh, because then we have the other option of the uh, mousse that I made that we can try it with to prove that I do actually cook some things. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, Which means you have to get some mousse out and it's chocolate bunny. It is, I guess. Uh, Or bunny, can you get me a spoon out of that jar? One of the long drawer stuff in the spoon. Alright, do we need a bottle? Yep, we do. Mm, Why are we not prepared? Because you told me not to get anything. I didn't say don't get the bottle opener. I just said don't get the beer. Thank you. You didn't bring the mousse. What? I didn't get the mousse. I will get the mousse after we try the beer, because if it's shitty, I don't want to do it with the chocolate mousse. Let's I'm not eating mousse on camera. I am. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Alright, so, the beer that we have... And the glasses. We... <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> this is... Vivian says flavored beer up top. It is chocolate bunnies. It's a stout brewed with cocoa powder. 
It is 5.5 alcohol per volume, one pint, um, and six ounces. It says a dark and silky, rich stout loaded with chocolate flavor. Is there any chocolate in my beer, or is there beer in my chocolate? And it is from the... <laughs> that's what it says! <laughs> I, I'm just reading, all right? And it is from the Rhinelander Brewing Company in Monroe, Wisconsin. So there's probably some Don't cheese you know. in there. Don't you know. Oh, that's Minnesota. <laughs> Whatever. They're all the same up there. Oh, uh, my friends in Wisconsin are going to be mad at me for that. Hey, okay, guys. <laughs> we might be coming out to see you next year. Don't hate me, please. Sorry. Okay, so. Ooh, it opens. All right. Let's see how it pours. Now that we have a... Oh, here, might as well look at the bottle, I suppose. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. She's so you just bought it because it was cute. I did. And it was chocolate and beer. Oh, I think this is going to be a really carbonated one. It really doesn't have... Looks like a soda. I'm not hateful. I just, I've not wanted to try this since you bought it. <laughs> Okay, so I, I for those of you who don't know, I'm Puerto Rican, and, and if anybody out there great. has ever had Malta Goya, this is exactly what that smells like, which I'm not sure is a good thing just yet, because I like Malta Goya, and I like beer, but I'm not sure if I want to combine the two flavors, and the head is kind of sorely lacking. Yeah, there there is no head on this no. whatsoever, like, it, it lasts two seconds, and then it poof, And we like our, our creamy, foamy head, I'm sorry, we do. <laughs> Where's my phone going off when I need it? <laughs> ah, really. The volume is down. You can't even go there. <laughs> yeah, why are the tech guys not prepared to text her on command? You made, that me, way turn, you made me turn the volume off, remember? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it would have been more funny. But, okay, so here's chocolate bunny. It's not bad. I've had better... <laughs> That would have been a good time for the phone to go on. That's what she said. Okay. That's what I've said a lot. That was that was number one. Let me try number two. Do I have to? Mm -hmm. Well, okay. The whole line where it says, "Is there chocolate in my beer, or is there beer in my chocolate?" Yeah, that doesn't. No, that doesn't fly. That doesn't work. I'm sorry. That's. You can definitively taste that it is beer. Mm -hmm. Not enough chocolate. So mm -hmm. for it to be labeled chocolate bunny, I'm expecting a freaking Easter basket in my beer. Okay? No beer. No basket. No, there's no basket. There's beer, but no basket with bunnies. Chocolate bunnies, specifically. Yeah, not jelly beans, because that'd be weird. Although a jelly bean beer might be interesting. Ugh. I don't know. No. It might be weird. No more shots for you. Ugh. I don't know. Do I, I have to finish I don't it? hate it, but I don't love it. You yeah. have to admit. Okay, what do you think? Give me your opinion. Okay, hold on. Drink more. That's the way to get the better opinion. <laughs> Shut your face. Okay, so... Kind of like the one... Did we do the, the Moo representation where we're very yes. disappointed with the Moo? Well, that was the, the, the cream stout, the milk stout. So it okay. didn't have a lot of... Well, milk. that's what I'm comparing it to. Well, this is the, the milk stout, though. It's a stout. No, but I'm just saying... The the fact that they emphasize how much chocolate is in this beer, I'm not feeling it. There is not a lot of chocolate flavor to it. It has very, it, it's it's very dark. I mean, you could see it from here, but it's carbonated like a soda, which I really don't appreciate with my beers. That's more of a cider thing with carbonation. Yeah. Um, but... It does not have a huge chocolate flavor to the point where they're going, is there beer in my chocolate? <laughs> so, really, are you eating the mousse? I'm not eating the mousse. I'm preparing the mousse. You're preparing the mousse by putting the spoon in the mousse. How is that preparing the mousse? Don't, don't hate. I haven't even talked about the beer yet. Well, why don't you talk about the beer before I keep making fun of you? Okay, I'm going to talk about the beer. Um, so, I'm before I talk about the beer, I'm going to take another mouthful. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're used to that one. Okay, so when I drink this beer, my my the aftertaste is incredibly disappointing. 
Um, the aftertaste is like it's. It almost tastes like an iron aftertaste. There's like a almost mm. like a metallic aftertaste mm-hmm. going yeah. on, and I'm not digging that. Cause I mean, if I wanted blood in my mouth, I certainly wouldn't be getting it from a beer. You know what I mean? Is this what you normally want? No. But I'm just saying, if I wanted the taste of blood, I certainly wouldn't be getting it from a beer. Um, I'm not going to sleep near you at all. <laughs> so you, Even if it's in the Do you other normally room. sleep near me? No, I sleep in the other room. Oh. But I don't want to, like, sleep near you at all. Because what you, you guys just... didn't know is that she actually lives with me now. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. As far as stouts are concerned, um, it doesn't have the the heaviness of a stout that I tend to like, and it doesn't have the. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. You like it, maybe. you like it heavy, apparently. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn. Do you like off. a thick beer too? Because that I do. I like a thick, creamy beer. Um, when it slides down, the, never mind. Anyway, so don't this, make this into porn. This, <laughs> This beer, um, it has a very metallic aftertaste, which is not good. Um, it does not have a definitive chocolate taste, which is also not good, especially for something called chocolate bunny. I should feel like I'm eating the ears off of somebody's hollow chocolate bunny, but I'm not. Um, definitely too carbonated for um, a sound uh, that I like. Yeah. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not having it. No. 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 Mm. So... I don't know. What do you, what do you want to say about this beard? Do you, you want to just... Excuse me. What does this mean? Oh, okay. So Why does have... it say orgasms on our agenda? That's tradition because he wrote orgasms on the on the what like the we have an itinerary. <laughs> yeah, on. we have an itinerary, and it's as to orgasms. what we need to talk about so we don't go off track, which we obviously have done because we're almost at twelve minutes. Um. But I wrote orgasms because he did. So we could do Harry Met Sally. Are you going to like do that with the chocolate mousse? Because you can't do that if you add this to okay. the chocolate mousse. So I, I made a a healthy chocolate mousse made out of uh, ricotta cheese and dark chocolate. And I thought to myself, well, wouldn't that be an interesting mix with stout? Because I actually have a recipe that I'm going to work on, which you guys will see, that is made with a chocolate stout or a porter. I haven't decided which one. So I decided, well, let me see what it tastes like with the stout and the mousse. So I'm going to try this now because I said I would do it. It's probably not going to be right. Okay, but so while she's doing that, um, I will do a little plugging. And we are going to be at the, it's called the Geek Creation Show. It's a Jeff Mock show, if you haven't heard of him. He's awesome. And mm. the website, Stop Yummy Noising. Um, it, it's geekcreationshow.com. It's going to be November 15th in Piscataway, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a little setup there where we're going to show baking and boozery. Uh, and we may, we may have a little swag to give away. We, we're planning on doing a raffle and everything. So if you and guys want samples, wanna, oh my god, uh, yeah, samples. samples. We're gonna have we're gonna some make baked goods. You're gonna get some bread, some dessert, some interesting stuff. And we'll talk about all of our different beers that we sample. Yep. And we're probably gonna feature some of our local breweries from here in Nepa. Um, and you know some swag from them even maybe who knows. But now that we have done that, oh, uh, and by the way. Um, another plug. We did get this beer from Mrs. D's because we love Mrs. D's. We do. It's awesome. We do. But this beer and the beer is guy. Not, the beer guy's awesome. The beer is not. No. Well, at least this one. The other ones are good. I give. Can I give it a negative orgasm? We can do that. Can mm-hmm. it be like no, no, <laughs> and not no as in yes, but just no as in no. Yeah, just no, no like, as in no. Get away from me. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay, I'm not having this. So now we asked. I know this video is getting a little long. We're done, but medicine. we're almost done. We're gonna pick two questions. We have a little bowl, and we also because our tech guy knows us the best. We didn't get some bizarre questions. We got some pretty innocent questions. So we had him put in some, you know, weird questions in there. So we're just going to pick from the bowl. Oh, we dropped one. And then... (laughs) 
you suck. <laughs> so the question was, how long have you two been married? This is obviously a tech question. It's been so long. I don't even no, remember. Not. It's like it was just yesterday. Oh my when God. did we get married? I don't, I don't remember. remember. I, I don't know. I don't know. But you don't remember well. the anniversary, you bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> and here I thought I was going to give you a present and no. Do I get a diamond? No, I was just going to get you a bottle of booze. Oh, shit. Yeah, forget you. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. One more. I'm sorry. All right. Teresa, you we're not get... married. I mean, we're no, really we're, not we're married. Really you not. might think we're married because we act like we're married. You should see her bitch about me changing outfits when we go out, but we're not actually married. She changes like six times. Six. Just because I don't have a plaid shirt to match every other shirt I own <laughs> doesn't mean anything. I'm versatile. <laughs> I am versatile. <laughs> I can't. I have to. I have to pick something there that I know the answer. My ringtone is from okay, Tommy Boy. Go. Okay, so what do we have? Okay, the um, oh, it's a normal question. It's a normal question. Not about any of our inadvertent sex lives having to do with beer. Okay, ready? The pros and cons of adding booze to baking. My very first there, reaction there, is there's, there's there's a con. There's no con. There's no. There's con. no con. No. I mean, I mean. If you don't know what you're doing, maybe there's a con. But in in my world, there's no con. If you add booze to baking, it's awesome, and there's always leftover booze, which makes it even that much more awesome. Yeah, the whole thing. If you have a regular size beer bottle when you're baking, you're not using the whole beer bottle. You're only using a small portion of it. About so, a cup. Yeah, so you get to drink the rest. So it it's a it's a win win situation. Um, high tech guy. Yeah. Apparently, he's just going to take a swig of the bottle and try it. Um, okay. Yeah, you're welcome. It's not good. Um, so, I think that wraps up our little uh, little show tonight. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think so, too. Really? Um, Chocolate bunny? No. Not for the stout lovers out there, anyway. Mm-mm. No, I mean, not. If you like the taste of blood in your mouth, go for it. But. Yeah! <laughs> Otherwise, Dracula. Right. Not so much. Not so much. Five beer. Dracula. Anyway. Because it's good. Thank you for watching our new uh, newest webisode of Baking and Boozery. We hope to see you again soon. Check us out. www.bakingandboozery.com. Why do we emphasize dot com? I don't know. I don't know. See ya. Bye. <laughs> There's the stop button like right there. <laughs> Bye, guys.